Let's talk about what the leaders are up to. And Priyanka Gandhi Vadra was in Rajasthan. She was in Jaipur ostensibly to flag off a marathon on Women's Day. But more importantly are the political ramifications and speculations around uh, this visit. She met with the chief minister uh, uh, whose political advice she values. And uh, there's also talk of the Congress wanting to sequester some of its MLAs given that uh, some of the states like Goa and Uttarakhand are uh, said to be heading uh, for a hung assembly. Let's just listen into what she had to say. All right, so that is uh, what Priyanka Gandhi had to say to the media. But yes, Harsha, so a lot of speculation around her meeting with Ashok Gehlot. Yes, as, uh, exactly, uh, because, you know, she spent over an hour at the chief minister's residence. She had dinner with him yesterday. And, uh, you know, given the astute politician that Ashok Gehlot is, clearly a lot of things on that menu. So one of them is, of course, post-poll scenario. And we all know that if, uh, you know, the results throw up um, some kind of a hung or fractured assembly or even uh, places where alliances are possible, clearly in UP, the writing is on the wall. We all know who the Congress is going to ally away with. The SP is a very, very possible ally. Uh, for the other states, not so clear, but you know, like you were saying, Uttarakhand and Goa, you know, possible alliances. So all this was definitely, we've been told, discussed with Ashok Gehlot yesterday, last evening, where she spent over an hour at the chief minister's residence. Also the possibility of ring-fencing MLAs. Now, Rajasthan is not just famous for tourism, but also for political tourism. This is a Congress government and... Uh, the best place, really, if the Congress wants to tuck its MLAs away so they don't get poached, Rajasthan is going to be the absolutely obvious destination and plenty here to keep the MLAs occupied. Uh, so those uh, two things were definitely on the menu uh, in that meeting with Priyanka Gandhi. She's gone back. Uh, she's left early this morning. So clearly uh, her visit was more political uh, than uh, anything else. All right, then to do with the flagging of a marathon for Women's Day. Thanks so much, Harsha, for joining us with those details.